Hey guys, Corey Scott here, and I want to talk to you about how smoking a little weed, a little weed can lead to big consequences. I don't know if you ever heard this phrase before, but there's a phrase that says, little hinges swing big doors. I'm going to repeat that. Little hinges swing big doors. Now, back to my topic. Let me tell you how smoking a little weed can lead to big consequences. I'm going to tell you exactly how this plays out every day, every city, every state across America. And it all starts with a little weed, smoking a little weed, especially here in Indiana and other states to where it's illegal to smoke weed. You know, you may not, you know, you may not agree with it. I had a client that told me all about his philosophy the other day and how he saw it and how it was wrong. And that's all fine and well. That's your philosophy you think is wrong. That's fine and well, but here's the deal. Until it is legalized, it still poses a problem. But let me break down the exact path that I've seen happen time and time and time and time again. So here it is. A person is stopped for a minor traffic infraction or a minor traffic crime. A lot of times they're stopped because they got a suspended license or maybe their tent is too dark or their license is in the wrong place. It's in the window and it should be affixed to the back of the car or the person didn't signal within 200 um, yards of an intersection. I mean, the reasons are just, there are too many to really go through every scenario. But the point is this, it all starts with a traffic stop. So you got the traffic stop, light you up, cherries and berries, blue and red. You pull over, you're waiting on the officer to come to the car. Your mind starts spinning. You know, you've been smoking weed. The officer comes to the car and lo and behold, what do they smell? They smell what they know as they put in their report from their training and experience to be either burnt or raw marijuana. And so once they smell the marijuana, that gives them the right to say, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, Mr. and Mrs. Smoking Weed in the car, could you please step out for me? Because that gives them probable cause to get you out. That gives them probable cause to say that you're breaking the law. And so you step out. And then for many people, I've seen this happen again, time and time again. What happens when smoking a little weed isn't the only thing that you got going on? What happens when in addition to smoking a little weed, you got pills or you got a large quantity of more serious drugs? What happens when you got a gun in the car that you don't have a license for? I am telling you that this is the path of so many cases. It all starts with a traffic stop, traffic stop leads to the officer smelling marijuana the officer smelling marijuana allows the officer to take you out of the car so your car can be searched. And then that search turns up something way more serious. You went from smoking a little weed to now having a big case. I'm just telling you, the next time you think about and again, I'm not condoning, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you to break the law. But I also know full well that there's some folks that just ain't gonna stop smoking. I'm just simply saying the next time you think about rolling up and then getting behind the wheel, or you in there and, 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 and you know, the car with your boys, your road dogs, and they wanna roll up and smoke, you may wanna consider this phrase small hinges swing big doors. Smoking a little weed can lead to a big case. Until next time, take great care.
make great decisions. And if you have to be guilty of anything, be guilty of greatness.